thanks to the wife she is helping me to unbox this oscilloscope I have a cut of my finger In this episode, part 1, we will unbox this spectacular digital oscilloscope and give some briefing about its main functions. In the second part, we will review in details how to use efficiently and get the maximum out of it. Okay, it's time now to check and test our new oscilloscope. It's a digital storage oscilloscope. That means it can be connected to the computer and this is the software that should be installed to your machine so that you will pair it through the USB cord to your computer. And those are of course the probes. As you can see regarding the probe, it has a normal B and C jack that should be connected to a channel uh, block and it has here a, an attenuation mode 1x and 10x it's better to be left always in 10x unless you have a very reasonable uh, and specific reason to change okay you can take out this is of course the the, the, the tip and this is the ground right this should be connected to the ground with any device or any circuit that you want to measure a signal coming from and this would be this hook shape uh, tip is to uh, be connected to the uh, output of the signal you can uh, uh, also open like this and you get up with a, a suitable pen probe that can be actually uh, attached to devices and uh, electronics, especially the uh, oscillators and uh, you know the SMD small devices. It's a place where you can maybe only reach through using this kind of uh, uh, probes. You can of course return it back like this. So this is one probe, and the other we have two probes for two channels. This is a two-channel uh, oscilloscope, and it's a. Uh, at 20 gigabytes as a band limit now there are uh, more than that like for example 100 megahertz band limit this is a 20 megahertz band limit so let's take the probes and put them aside by now this is the software that you can install software program to be installed to the machine and this is the user manual and this is the specifications according to the model itself as you can see but up until now i don't know what is the model of my oscilloscope is it 1022 possible to uh, 20 gigahertz yes that's the only 20 gigahertz as band limit so probably most probably our model number is sds 1020 okay so 
we have to make sure. This is uh, about the probe model OW3060, which is 60 megahertz. Right, and there are the specifications for your, for our model 3060 models of the probes. The probes are very important. If you change them and if you you have to calibrate them, I'm going to show you how right now. Actually, I have a little knowledge about the the digital uh, oscilloscopes, but I'm going to use this <laughs> little knowledge, hoping inshallah I will cover. You see here, there is a small uh, place where you can insert your uh, screwdriver and adjust the probe compensation screw. It's called the probe um, uh, compensation screw. Let me show you where exactly on the probe itself. Here it is. If you take it to the left or to the one side, you are going to get under compensation. This kind of shape will appear on your screen. It's under compensation. And this one is over compensation. Now the suitable compensation would be like this. Pure square wave shape. We will come to that later. So now here we have tips and covers with colors and an adjustable screwdriver we should use this because it will isolate ourselves from the uh, from the oscilloscope so that we will guarantee that there will be no interference okay this is the usb jack to be connected to the machine and this is our oscilloscope okay so now the first thing to do i will continue peeling out this sticker all right and we will connect the power cord to the main but first let's read a little bit about the if we can see where is the model i think the model is here SDS 102220. Yes, this is the model number. So, this is the power cord. Let's connect it to the designated place. Let me make sure that it is already connected because. Okay, I think it's already connected, right? And we'll take out the cover of this channel one probe. Channel one is uh, yellow colored. So I'm gonna use the yellow probe. We have yellow tab and a blue tab, which is channel one and channel two. I'm gonna use this yellow probe and in the second part we will review in details how to use efficiently and get the maximum out of it okay i don't know up until now is it working or not is it damaged or okay so we are going to check for all of this together so the first thing now to do is to connect properly this BNC type block. Okay. And the opening for calibration is here. Let me prepare the screwdriver. Okay, right, I think we are ready right now. 
All right then. Then we will come to the to this uh, uh, provided uh, protruding here. This is an internal oscillator which produces a five volts uh, square wave that actually has been built in to enable you to calibrate your compensation uh, and the in your probe. So each time you change the probe, you have to calibrate it like that by putting the uh, the the ground. Uh, side to the ground side here see and this way we're going to put the tip which is this one here like this okay it's gonna be like that but first let us it's already connected now to the power supply right it takes 17 seconds for booting. So let's start. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Well, that's seven seconds, isn't it? It is not 17 seconds. Okay, that's good. That is nice. Everything is okay. It is running. So as I said, let's go ahead and I don't know if I can push this button or not. This will give us a, a menu. Let's go ahead and calibrate the compensation screw. Okay, now let's go to the utility button and we go to the about button like that and that will show us my friends the model number and the serial number and the version like about on the help so it's sds 1022 that's good all right now if we put the horizontal all right very good the measuring we got all the functions we are going to go and take them one by one hopefully for explanation